Someone's cursing, my lord. Late night lunch. Someone's puffling, my lord. Late night lunch. Someone's growing, my lord. Late night lunch. Oh lord, late night lunch. This is a post-Watershed production. Hello again, and welcome to the show held together with nuts, bolts and balsa wood, which splinters to the touch and collapses on command, late night large. I'm your power drill, Aaron Bliss, and drinking the spirit level is Mike Large. Hello, folks. Mike, what, what, what theme are we discussing tonight again? Do it yourself. Oh, we'll be doing it for ourselves. No other fucker will. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon his French. Mike, are you a Dior enthusiast? Perhaps we'll, wouldn't we'll go, go as far, far as to say enthusiast. But nothing against it. No? No. Perfectly well, good at it. Capable. Oh, really? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Shabby. Well, I came up with a pretty good statement, uh, obviously garnered from our sponsor, Wikipedia, from uh, philosopher Alan Watts. I mean, it applies more to America, but it kind of sums it up. Uh, He said, uh, Our educational system in its entirety does nothing to give us any kind of material competence. In other words, we don't learn how to cook, how to make clothes, how to build houses, how to make love, or to do any of the absolutely, absolutely fundamental things of life. The whole education that we get for our children in school is entirely in terms of abstractions. It trains you to be an insurance salesman or a bureaucrat. Or some kind of cerebral character. Do you think he's on something, Mike? Well, I think, as you said, that probably applies more to Over the Pond. But I think that probably was certainly the case a few years back. But, I mean, it, there's... I don't think that's so much the case anymore. No. Uh, they're, they're at, some might suggest it's schools. inappropriate how to teach children how to make love as well. Yeah. P- perhaps, I mean, how... Do you, what do you do demonstrations or <laughs> ask for volunteers and I mean maybe that's surely a good teacher would just get balls deep absolutely yeah just you I'm know. surprised you didn't suggest that to be honest well no I I teach in other ways mm. I'm perfectly uh, okay perfectly alright without getting root deep in children thank you on the subject of screwing <laughs> <laughs> how many shows have you put up in your life um, literally a few. <laughs> no, I put up a few shelves. Have you really? Yeah, I put up a few shelves. Okay. Uh, I think even I've put up shelves. Oh, Jesus Christ, wonky are they? Falling down? <laughs> they sit up, are they? Yeah. Um. Anyway, Mike, what's the? What would you say is the biggest DIY project you've uh, immersed yourself in? Come on, impress us. Have you built a shed? Dug a pond? Oh, I've dug a pond. Really? Hmm. Okay. Um, I've dug a grave. Yeah. <laughs> Why is from your grave? Um, I've d- have I built a shed. I don't think I've built a shed. I might. I've helped build a shed. Do you, uh, don't you remember that that shed you built uh, with the special plants in? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the the funny lights. Yeah, that's the one. That's it. The, yeah. the one that got raided by the cops was it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Please, no one let the police know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> the authorities have to remain in the dark. Yeah, I think that. Do you think we do you think we don't teach our kids enough vocational or practical skills? There are more vocational things flying around in schools these days. I think. Like, well, they're, they're just are, aren't they? Like uh, cooking things and that. Like, well, yeah, we've always had like home ec. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. And that you get your no, no, you cook tiffins. You get, your, you get your DT stuff, don't you? Like, I was about to say. Memories of design technology lessons. What kind of things did you get? What shenanigans did you get up to in your design and technology I lessons? Probably shouldn't go into too many of them. No. Um, no. Uh, did you ever hold anyone's face into the uh, electric sander? I bloody wanted to, but no. <laughs> no, I no. no I did you used to put like a big sheet of perspex in a vice and then smash it with a hammer? That may have happened once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah, but I mean you. You can't give kids that sort of thing and expect them not to do that. <laughs> True, and it's all about exploring your boundaries, isn't it? Yeah, well, they'll learn 
not you know, to push what? people's faces into the electric sander. Yeah, they need to learn by doing. You know, what's what's the consequences if I do this? Oh, okay. Perhaps I won't do it again. Or I'm definitely doing that again. It de- depends how messed up you are, really, in the head, doesn't it? Yeah. Have you got any embarrassing stories of DIY projects, Mike? Is no. there anything you I somehow get the feeling that you're uh, concealing something? Not at all. So you're saying everything you've ever done in a DIY project has come off perfectly? No, perhaps not perfectly, but I was always pretty useful, so... Yeah? No always shelves falling down? No. Uh, doors falling off? No. Couple not that I can exploded. think of. Perhaps Perhaps these things may have happened, but I'm, and I'm choosing to repress them, but no, I, can't, I can't, so. can't drag anything out of the old memory bank. What's your, OK, what's your favourite... Uh, what would you say is your DIY task of choice? If you were given, say, you know, you're with, I don't know, a lovely lady, your partner, oh, yeah. and, you, and and she asked you to do something, to yeah. occupy, <laughs> occupy yourself for the house, to occupy yourself on a Saturday, what, what, would, what would be your ideal thing to get on with, project? Occupy yourself on a Saturday, uh, so, so, so maybe she's going... She's going to her mother's. Occupy, occupy yourself on a Saturday. No, she's it's taking, pretty obvious. She's taking the kids to the pool, isn't she? Order, a, order a Chinese, sit in front of the telly, few lagers, put the football on. That's what I'd occupy myself with. But if I had to, come on, know. project. What project would you like to do? She's Make not going to. She's going to be impressed if she comes build back. Build a model car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't I think don't she's going to be impressed if she comes back and sees that. You know, build her a spice rack. Get, there you go. Build her a spice. The rack. only thing that's been added to the house is uh, the toy from your Happy Meal, and <laughs> you know you made a mess on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't going to get up to go to the toilet, was I? <laughs> I thought that was your project. Oh. You know, you're building building the toilet into the chair, no, the sofa. Yeah, perhaps I'd do that then. Yeah, I'd do that. Or build her a spice rack, like I said. Nice oh, a spice rack. Right. Yeah. There you go, love. You know, it's for when you're in the kitchen and that. You know, it's where you should be. <laughs> oh, God, no, you do. Just encourage no, you. Do. Oh, no, make it all nice for her. Get her a couple of little things. Get her excited about being in the kitchen. And, and without a trace of irony as well. Well, you know, kitchen, bedroom. Rubbish bin. Rub- <laughs> rubbish bin. <laughs> what, inside the rubbish bin? Drain, get in that bin. Sewers. Get in the bin. Yeah. No, I don't. That's where they belong, is Not it? unless you. Something horrible happen and you've accidentally killed her and then you stick her in the rubbish bin but otherwise why would she be in the rubbish bin and why would you encourage her to be in the rubbish Mike, bin Mike you're so anachronistic everybody knows that it's just so passe to put bodies in the bin now let's face it councils aren't going to do a good job of disposing of your your murder consequences no, you're right I just have to chop them up and eat them True. Well, you still have to zero you, evidence. There's the, the, what about the bones? You're gonna have to deal with the bones and the teeth, the skull. That's gonna be a lot of things to deal with. Or you, let me guess, mm. you, you you you're gonna use your DIY skills to turn them into furniture. Yeah, and build something out of them. Yeah, a jean style. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see why not. Yeah. Hmm, what would you build out of bones? Out of bones? Yeah. Probably I don't know, a chair. Out of the leg and arm bones. Really? You can obviously you can make all kinds of wicked decorative things out of skulls. Yeah, but you... tankard, <laughs> make a good tankard out of skull. Yeah, and you course. would be the coolest bitch in the pub. Yeah, I think the thing is you probably got to build something that mm, what has practical uses or disguises the fact that it's made from your dead wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, is that what's that like of course it's not a that, real skull it looks officer. like a skull no it's not oh really because it, it looks like the skull of a you know what, however old woman can't prove anything recently gone missing Mike what's the best way to throw suspicion away from you is to flaunt ridiculous things in people's faces oh look I'm drinking out of the skull of my murdered wife jokes Nobody's going to be dumb enough to do that. You go into the pub, maybe even buy a drink for the police officer, and then drink no. your beer out of your wife's skull. I see what you're saying. I think I might be a little bit too far, though. Like, okay, so I kill her. I don't. I don't bother chopping her up or anything like that. I I kill her accidentally or not, and just drag her into the into the police station and and stick her on the floor. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, stick her on the so, floor. So, so, you know. Uh, but I didn't kill her. No, you wouldn't. 
You should hang it from the ceiling. Modern art project. Yeah, I think so. Just say it's in the interest of art. <laughs> yeah, you can't arrest me. I'm an artist. Pushing the boundaries of modern art. Yeah. That kind of thing should be encouraged. The Prize. Yeah. Brilliant. You'd win it for that. If you don't win it for that, I mean, what are you going to win it for? It's not special. It's not a beautiful or unique radio show. It's the same trite, generic pap as everything else. I know this because Tyler knows this. We are the Fight Club generation, and this is our radio show. And you are our listeners. Mike, t- tell me what you think is going through someone's head when they uh, do something themselves. Um, okay. But it goes a little something like this. Uh, wife's been bitching at me. This and this and he's doing. I can't afford to get anyone in to do it. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a stab at it. Because I've said enough, probably... you've been framed yeah, to, right, yeah. s- to know that it usually goes wrong. Yeah. Well, most things that are sent into you being framed <laughs> are things that have gone wrong, Aaron. What so... I mean is there's a large proportion of those videos are I... DIY accidents. Yeah. Do, okay. do you honestly think that's it? I mean, okay, I know you're I doing your chauvinistic part, but hmm. you think it's just wives and girlfriends nagging for something in the house oh, that needs doing. Okay, look, all right. Um, being called a chauvinist, okay. Let me just let me just go back a second. Let's just, let's just hold that train. What I said previously about you know women belonging in the kitchen in the bedroom and should not be anywhere else. I don't believe that at all. So d- please don't be offended by that um, please don't take a power tool to Mike's no. getting ads. no you know you'd just be upsetting hundreds and thousands of women if you did that <laughs> um, yeah women don't just belong in the bedroom and the kitchen how would they clean the rest of the house <laughs> the rest of the house that presumably is falling down from your DIY efforts no not my DIY efforts so I'm just saying less able people obviously ok on so, do you not think the motivation behind DIY is a, is a save some money? In it. No, no, no. Are you sure it's not a sense of um, male pride, macho pride? Yeah. yeah. So, I, no. I, oh, honey, why don't you ring someone in? No. What for? What to, you know to you know for the you know stuff that wants doing and that. No, don't need them. I can do it. But of course, he he'll probably change his mind by the time the, yeah. the bus crashes through the ceiling. See, it, no, it depends in on what the job was and mm, how lazy I was feeling yeah. I'd, prob- I'd probably do that I'd probably be like nah don't need we all right, I can do that however if I was yeah feeling pretty lazy I'd probably I'd just get someone else in wouldn't you feel like an absolute twong if you were I yeah. don't know cleaning your gutters out and you ended up in hospital for falling off the ladder imagine like losing, I'd, I'd losing feel, the strength in your leg. I'd feel more of a twonk like saying like Oh, I admit to not being able to do something. So I can't do this. I, yeah, need, I need someone else to come and do it for me. Like, what no, I mean is... No, no, I'm the daddy. Yeah, but I what do. I mean is, do-it-yourself accidents. I'm pretty sure that not everyone who commits a DIY accident is completely incompetent or doesn't have a clue what they're doing. No, accidents happen, even to competent no, 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 people. I'm, yeah, but I was a, yeah, but the number of accidents, obviously, what I'm trying to say is... Do you not think it's because um, the same macho pride thing? People rush into things before preparing properly. Oh, of course, yeah. It's like you know, you you go to IKEA or something name shop, or you know, you go you go somewhere. Other home improvement stores are of course available. They are indeed. Uh, you go somewhere, you get some flat pack furniture. Uh, you get home. Classic flat pack. You get home, and uh, you know, you obviously eat standard. You leave it for a couple of days. Oh, you build that yet? Why haven't you done it? Blah, 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 blah. More nagging women, Jesus. Um, so, so you, all right, Speaking fine. Jesus, yes, I'll do it now. Um, he was a carpenter. Let's leave me out of this. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Get around to doing it. Get out of the box. First thing you do is uh, completely ignore the instructions and uh, get to it. Or do the classic Obviously. thing of I can't read these instructions. They're in some other language. Because of course. They're in six or seven languages. One of them that is usually English. You don't need the destructions, do you? The destructions. <laughs> don't need them. <laughs> don't need them. Are you sure you don't need them, dear? No. Look, do you want to do it? Right then. Do you want to do it? I don't need them. Just hold. I just know how to build a. Just hold the thing nail. That I'm hold building. the nail steady. Yeah. yeah, you hold that steady, love. Whack. I've only had eight or nine cans. I'm sure. <laughs> I'll... 
I'm sure I'll let the that nail. comes out. Don't worry about your brittle fingers. Sweetheart, it's fine. I can see three nails as long as I hit the middle one. Fine. Look, I'm bound to hit one of them. <laughs> what are you panicking for? Stop crying! No. The look on your face there was priceless, Mike. Thank you. I'm not sure what look that was, but no. I'm sure it was an attractive look. <laughs> most what? most looks that I produce are. Of course, Mike. Yeah. <clears throat> so when you're not botching uh, spice I don't racks botch or things or garden sheds, I don't botch them. I'm the top DIY doer. Right? What's your favourite type of DIY then, Mike? Do you like? Do you like actually? Okay, would you say? <laughs> would you? My be... favourite type of DIY. Okay. What's answered, What's my favourite type uh, of DIY? We've answered our own question here. Uh, self-flagellation. <laughs> what was that about hitting the nail on the on the head? What was that? Was that? Oh yeah. yeah, hit the nail on the head. Okay. Oh, don't know. But yes, you're right. Anyway, can we move away from that? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Well, I didn't even want to move towards it. Well, you didn't leave me much choice. <laughs> it's always going to go that way. You should have thought about it. Yes, Mike. Self to blame. So do you prefer... Are you... Okay, when I say prefer, which of these would you choose to do? Would you Would you choose to do, like, you know, decorating maybe, put a couple of coats of paint on the wall? Would you want a flat pack thing to construct so you've got nice instructions... Or are you the kind of man who likes doing things completely from scratch, buying your own materials, drawing up the plans yourself, so you can have that full kind of dominant? You get uh, more of a grasp sense of uh, self-achievement if you do that. And believe me, I I bloody love to do stuff like that. I just don't have the time or the skills. Didn't say that, do I? I appreciate if you didn't insinuate. <laughs> Speaking of DIY, of DIY skills, I'm not. Okay, uh, if I had the time to do things like that, then yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to get involved. Speaking of DIY, it. though, Mike, um, DIY. I mean, obviously, you had those really lame uh, programs, particularly in America, like Home Improvement and stuff. They're not lame. Yeah, but they were lame in the sense You're that lame. the people that they were aiming it at. What? I, don't, I don't forget digs like that. The people you're aiming them at are the typical American self-important. I'm going to build my own house kind of people. I can do this. Nothing wrong with a can-do attitude, Aaron. It thinks it must be a lot easier for DIY enthusiasts now, because of course we have the wonders of YouTube. Well, in fact, not just YouTube, obviously, DIY websites. DIY e-zines, other kind of things. Anything you might want to lay, put well, your hand to. It's all sorts of advice and you just Yeah, but you just, you just click up a search engine, or you, YouTube search engine, whatever. Get up a video, how to put up a shelf, you know, how to how to nail the cat to the floor, whatever. You get the video up, and you know, there's someone actually physically doing it in front of you. I love it when there's someone physically doing it in front of me. <laughs> you know what, my train of thought has been completely derailed. Probably because you've been doing DIY on the tracks, but... Go on. I've lost my train of thought. Why don't you pick it up? Well, pick it up, how, pick it how up, can pick I pick it up, it up if I don't know where it is? How am I supposed to know where your train of thought is if you Why don't, don't know you where take it the is? train of thought in a different direction? Take the track over the cliff edge. Why don't you take my train of thought <laughs> in a different direction? A great man once said, "If I had a hammer, I'd uh, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd <laughs> hammer in the evening. <laughs> All over this land." <laughs> Any comments? <laughs> I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I love to hammer in the morning, in the evening, and every time in between and all over this land. Have you got a favourite tool? <laughs> I do enjoy my tool. Uh, have I got a favourite tool? Yeah. Uh, talking power tools, your, your e basic either, stuff. Either, either or. Do you, are you, do you like man-made, handmade tools? Or? I bloody love hammers. Ha Who doesn't really? Is it is it because they ca can cause a, they're very noisy and loud and cause a lot of damage? Yeah. Is it because yeah, they can double up as murder as well. weapons? Yeah. You got what? What can, you, what can you not do with a hammer? Tell me something you can't do with a hammer. I mean, you can hit a nail into wood. Yeah. You can hammer a joist into place, or you can smash someone's skull. All great things to do with a hammer. It's the tool. It's basic of all as well. It's basic. Yeah. It's, it's basic. It's it's fundamental. What, what do you think? Brilliant. What do you think people love did? Hammers. What do you think people did before hammers? I guess they'd have to use big stones, wouldn't they? Yeah. And then some bloody genius came along and invented a hammer 
invented a hammer. That's off to you, Mr. Hammer. Are you a screwdriver man? I'll enjoy a good screw every now and again. <laughs> For God's sake. Uh, oh, no, I, I, I quite enjoy screwdrivers, yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, if we're talking about murder weapons, what about... Uh, what chainsaw. About wrenches. What about chainsaws? Yeah, but now you're going on to uh, power tools. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, wrenches. Yeah, I mean, one of those to the temple, that's going <laughs> to... That's going to cause some damage, really, isn't it? We're right? going off track a little bit here, Mike. Are we? We're talking about murder all of a sudden. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I think that's just our warped brains okay, taking what? us into yeah, definitely. dark territory. Dark territory, I like that. Not necessarily a bad thing. What about, so power tools, the the thing about power tools, they make things easier. I've got a couple they of power also tools. They also... Doesn't Troy, mate. Nah. The power in those. So power tools, the yeah. thing about them is uh, they might make things a lot easier. They also shoot the uh, the fatality incidents probably a lot higher. What do you think of that? It's happened to all of us. I think some people can't handle it. You drop the chainsaw, you fall on top of it, you slice your own head off. Yeah, I mean, that's happened to all of us. I, I've done that. I've done that at least three or four times. Get your stinking rat out! It's late night, large. Mike, so I come in. There go on. This this is where you come in with uh, your comments. Power tools. Remember what we were talking about power tools for girls. Which one of the power uh, tools <laughs> for girls? <laughs> Which, yeah, you know, there, there is a track called Power Tools for Girls. I probably should have put it on tonight. It would have would have made sense, wouldn't it? You do. Uh, anyway, Power Tools, Mike. Power Tools, Aaron. The great thing about Power Tools is they all have very cool names as well. Which of these uh, would you say would be your Power Tools of choice? Impact Driver? Yeah. Air Compressor? <laughs> yeah. That alligator Shear? Allig- I mean, Alligator Shear. One of it's my na- personal it's named favorites. after an animal. Uh, one of my personal favourites. Right. Angle Grinder. Angle grinder. They all sound cool. Yeah. Don't they? Bandsaw, belt sander, biscuit joiner. Now I mean, that is cool. I bloody love biscuits. I don't know. To think there's a power tool to put them together like custard creams. That must be how they're made. Yeah. Biscuit joiner. That's how you make like Oreos and that. Definitely. Ceramic tile cutter, chainsaw, circular saw, concrete saw, cold saw, crusher. Crusher. I mean, I wonder what that does. Diamond blade, diamond tools. Disc sander, disc sander. That's what what we used to push uh, people's heads into at school. Drill, yeah. Fire drill. We used to have them. At Floor school. sander. Wonder where that's used. Uh, probably on the uh, on the ceiling, isn't it? Grinding machine. No grinding idea ma- what that's grinding for. Grinding machine. That, that's not a very <laughs> good name because that that just like, like a childish definition or something. Hmm. Oh, it's it's heat, a grinding as it, machine. As is heat gun. Heat gun sounds the same. A little bit simplistic. Yeah. Impact wrench. Impact wrench. That, is they're, cool. they're wrenches that you use to cave people's skulls in. Jackhammer. Jack. Oh, that's a brilliant name, isn't it? No, it's a, it. isn't that a great name. Jackhammer. Yeah. It is. It is pretty cool. Jointer. Jigsaw. I, I like I a good jigsaw. Yeah, I enjoy a jigsaw. I don't know. You, uh, the Five thousand piece. I'll well, yeah. For a while, isn't it? I, I complete the two to four years ones in uh, about a day. No, that's impressive. Yeah. Like. No, well done. Lays, another cool name. Mitre saw. Yeah, mitre saw like 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 footballs, but not about the same. <laughs> nail gun. Gotta yeah. love a nail gun. Gotta give, yeah. There's a game where you use a nail gun. I can't remember what it is. It's very funny though. It's a game that I have. Uh, God, I wish I could remember what it was. That's a pre- sounds like a pretty bloody dangerous game, Aaron. It's very cool. What have you been playing? Because, You're a nut job. because you, you, ch- <laughs> you chase you ch- each other around with nail guns. You know, it's like a special weapon. You change from using. Uh, when I say it's a nail gun. Oh, you're on about a, a game is in. A, yeah, sorry, you're computer on a game. game sorry. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Sorry. Yeah. Did no, I not, right, did did I not right, mention we run around in the in the forest after dark chasing each other with a real nail gun? Okay. I hate you. You know, a real heavy duty. Yeah. You know the nails I've, that you, the kind of nails that you use to hammer train tracks to the ground yeah. rivets yeah. that kind of nail gun oh, right. that would do you serious damage yeah. well you can I mean nail guns are pretty pretty dangerous things I mean well definitely Danny Glover used a nail gun didn't he lethal weapon <laughs> can you think of any other films where a nail gun's used as an offensive weapon I can't think of any other films as good I know, yeah what, Home Alone that? probably Oh Most, yeah, uh, yeah, hum, yeah, home alone. Because that makes it fun as well, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's nothing fun. fun. Yeah, let's condone the use of like nail guns or staple guns or glue guns, guns even. 
glue guns not good you can't spray hot glue onto someone and think it's funny well, unless it's onto it? their hair no it's funny isn't, isn't it funny, yeah. no, okay. it's funny as long as it's not you on the wrong end of it I like we asked to your uh, point of view there that's just you do needle scale mm. needle S- scale scaler even. rather yeah go on, yeah rather. that sounds quite cool pneumatic torque wrench this is what I mean that <clears throat> it's uh, it's just it's alive with hard consonants love it yeah powder actuated tool random orbital sander that sounds that's cool that's you know random they've thrown that in there that's an interesting <laughs> word to throw in to the name of a <laughs> power just, wrench it radial goes where it wants saw. it sounds what it wants see ra- ra- mm. radial arm saw that makes me think that it's a saw that's kind of circu- circling your arm yeah that circles around your arm I don't know or attached to attached uh, to kind of like your, your elbow arm. or your forearm your yeah. radius <laughs> yeah very good yeah. Reciprocating saw. Thing. Now that yeah. sounds a little bit too complex because, of course, reciprocation is a very long word for something quite simple. Mm. Although a reciprocating saw would suggest that the saw gives exactly what it takes. Yeah. Which is, is weird. a bit strange. But even stranger, a rotary reciprocating <laughs> saw. Explain that one. Yes, um, I can't really. Rotary tool, obviously, we know of. Uh, Sabre saw. Yeah, that that's that's pretty a cool because cool, it makes you think of uh, saber tooth. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty. Uh, sander, obviously, scroll saw, steel cut saw, table saw, thickness planer, trimmer, wall chaser, wood router. Uh, I was thinking more of uh, wall, wall router, yeah. pneumatic drill. Yeah, you got to, got to enjoy a pneumatic drill. Hang on, oh, there you go. Ultimate then. power tool. Isn't it? Here you go then. Go on. Out of those that we've mentioned, yeah, uh, or, and any others that you can think of, yeah. What would be your tool of choice f- to commit uh, to, take, take to, to commit a, a murder with, take, or, or to take to a fight to the death? Let's say that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Me and you are in a fight to the death. Yeah. Which Which is your tool of choice? Don't need one, mate. <sighs> hammer. You're literally just going to take a hammer. Yeah. That, that's a brilliant idea. So while well, you choose something that can only be used from close range, you know, I'll I'll just choose a. Or a nail gun. Take, take a nail I'll gun. Take you down easily. You, t- you take a <coughs> nail gun to a gunfight, would you? Brilliant. Yeah, I'll, I'll whack out Des and Troy, mate. I've already got a couple of free. Yeah. I'll have half a dozen nails in your scrotum, and you'll be down by the time you've even raised your fists. Half a dozen nails in my scrotum. That's just that's that's an average Saturday night, be, mate. <laughs> <do> you <know laughs> mean? Your scrotum will be a pin cushion. I I normally have to beg for that, and you're going to do it for free. You're going to do it for free. We'll, mm. And then hot glue gun all over your head. You're, oh, sorry, but that's you're a euphemism. Gonna, you're, yeah, you're going to have to stop because <laughs> I'm actually getting quite aroused right now. Do you always arouse my large? Yeah. You seem to know just exactly what, what you like. Me. Yeah. I know what you like. Yeah. <coughs> you know, Mike, if you're doing a DIY project and you bottle out of it at the last minute, these days. Oh, oh he's bottled it. Cool. <laughs> he has bottled it. These days, you're most likely to call in, I don't know, let's play the stereotypes. You're most likely to call in a, a Polish tradesman. So no, you're not. I uh, and the, I'd, uh, I'd call in someone that I knew. It's quite murder. We, we always. Why do we always? We always find ourselves talking about things like that. Perhaps it's just these recurring themes. Yeah, it's just too. So, who Mike, are. if the Nazis were to rise from the grave, rise from your grave. <laughs> yeah. What would you use to take them down? Doesn't try. Try that. Doesn't try. I'd take a few things with me. Yeah. Yeah. Surely, what about the alligator shear? That sounds yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I take one of those. Yeah. Bear in mind, you're only going to be able I to pro- possibly hold one in each hand. I'd, I'd probably do. I'd probably be the Ash character. I'd have a chainsaw in one hand, and well, I guess you can't really have a rifle and have like a, I don't know, an industrial nail gun in the other hand. I'd, have, I'd, have, yeah, I'd have a, I'd have a nail gun. I'd have a hammer. I'd have a hammer like. Attached to like a tool belt. Oh yeah. Various things attached to tool belts. I just got this hilarious no. impression of you turning up to the fight and your your trousers just falling down. Yeah. You not been able to keep them up because you just loaded them with weapons. I'd use that weapon. <laughs> I'd oh, unleash the most oh. lethal weapon of all. Then. Didn't I? I wondered how long this was. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> I'd have I'd have a chainsaw like kind of strapped over my back for when my nail guns run out and so like, oh, you know I've got no ammo. Shit. What we're gonna do? Whack up the chainsaw and take it to them. No, just, um, just yeah, but you still have to start the chainsaw, so you're running the risk of. No, it's a special one. 
I'll just take a glue gun, just put it in their eyes. <laughs> Win the fight. Mm. Nobody, nobody's going to carry on after having that happen to them. I'm pretty sure no one would carry on if you took a chainsaw to their neck either. And I've just told you that by the time you pulled the uh, cord to start the bloody thing, they're probably on top of you. No, it's a, it's one that you just, it starts at a press of, press of a button. <laughs> Shut up. It does. And if you've got a nail gun, right, you, you obviously you're going for a bit of range shit there, aren't you? So you've, you're not all up in their grill. Okay. You know, I'm going to go with blowtorch. I'm going to go with blowtorch oh, and yeah, then just chuck paraffin all over you. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to do that. You'd take like little paraffin bombs. You know and what? Like, I'd be like and um, go blowtorch on their ass. <laughs> now that I think about it, this is reminding me of the Running Man. No, really? I'd be. Uh, oh, I was what? Um, fireball. I would be fireball. Yeah. Yeah. You know the guy with the uh, guy with the big uh, what is it? Cylinders on his back with uh, I don't know what propane or whatever it is in it on his back, and uh, that. That blowtorch that he uses to uh, blow fire at people. Yeah, I'd be that oh. kind of character. So, right. Whereas you'd be buzzsaw, apparently. Yeah. All right. The, so the Nazis, right? <laughs> Say that you know you were not taking on a horde of undead Nazis, right? Okay. You were just you know you were going to just go and kill someone, <laughs> and you had one weapon of choice. What would it be? I mean, there's things you got to think about. Do you know what I mean? It would it, have to where, where are you gonna Where are you gonna do them? Because if you, are you gonna make mess, well, yeah, like, are you gonna have to clear that up? The, like you got to cover it up as well. You don't want to get caught. The the best thing that you can ever use is fire. Yeah, then you got melted skin all over the place. No, no. no, no. If you <clears throat> if you set fire to most people, they'd be down and dead from shock within a minute, and hopefully they'll just burn away. <laughs> And you can kind of finish off the charred remains. Yeah, but how long if you, is that going to take? Do you know what I mean? You've got to well, kill them. So what dispose else? of the body. Yeah, but whatever else you do, you're going to spray blood everywhere. You know, if you use oh, a yeah? nail gun, okay, cover them in glue, hot glue. That's how we'll beat them. But you're going to glue them to the sodding floor. Then how are you going to move them? Well, that's what I mean. Surely burning them is the best option. Is it? Mike, anything else you use on that is going take to, them to wherever going you're going to dispose of them. Everywhere well, they're in, you know, they're in a, a car park, say. You know, and I tell you what, we'll go for a walk on the edge of a quarry, yeah, and then I'll just nail gun them in the back of the head. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> uh, so that, yeah, yeah. Okay. Although they that's, might, that's saying like, they might get suspicious when they find the body, obviously. Yeah, and you know that's assuming that it's someone. That you can just say, do you fancy going for a walk? <laughs> let's, go, let's go to the old quarry. Let's have a little walk. You know, you want to kill them. How friendly are you going to be with them? And of course, are you going to be, like, you're going to be close enough to just go for a run and walk together? And of course, the coroner is not going to look uh, kindly upon the idea that they committed suicide by firing a, a nail into the back of their own head. <laughs> no, no, I don't think you'd really get away with that one. No, no. Suicide by nail gun would, would be pretty bitchy though. It would be, pr- yeah. I know what you. Your murder weapon of choice would be the biscuit joiner, wouldn't? It? No, you, you would. You would slice them in half with a. Oh yeah. Miter saw. I don't know whatever circular saw. Saw them in half with that, and then you would uh, put a layer of custard in there and use them <laughs> the biscuit joiner to make them a human custard cream. Yeah. There we go. Then I'd eat them, disposed of. No, then you feed them to the alligator shit. Uh, uh, I see where you're going there. All right, okay. Yeah, I've got time for that. Yeah, I'll roll with that. Good. I'll give it a go. Okay, right. Mike. Potential victims out there, watch out. <laughs> there we go. This the uh, the murder sorted out. Your murder's planned. So who are you? <laughs> watch out, Dennington. Good luck sleeping tonight. There are obviously certain things that you would suggest never do yourself. I can think of some obvious ones. Yeah. Surgery. Your wife's been complaining potentially about a sore ankle or, a, I don't know, her grumbling appendix. Yeah, don't worry, sweetheart. Go and get the bread knife. I'll take a look. <laughs> yeah, Where's, you got. I don't think that's a good idea. I'll just, yeah, no. I, I don't think that's a good idea. No, probably not the best idea. Taxidermy. I don't think is necessarily a good DIY thing. Again, I think I think. You're and right. when we say DIY, it means something that you potentially would would read the odd book on or look on the internet quickly. Obviously, not something you get particular training in. That's what we mean by DIY. That 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 uh, 
is the is the description for it. As soon as you've had proper training in any way, it doesn't really make it DIY, does it? Well, it does. It's just, no, it's just practicing a hobby. D- DIY means that you're not proficient in whatever you're practicing. No, it means you're doing it yourself. You're doing it on the hoof. You just kind of picked up bits. It means, pieces. It means you're doing it yourself. Okay, my whatever. But what I mean is, if you have someone who's uh, who's vocation What's is it? is a carpenter yeah and he fixes up stuff in his own home you wouldn't go oh, DIY, oh he loves to do DIY well no that's his profession you say he loves to do DIY but he puts a shelf up right that's DIY ok well What's pedantism or not pedantry no, rather well, there's a, I might want a extension conservatory something put on it wouldn't do that myself <laughs> so yeah so big construction problem yeah do you know a plumber because I don't, I don't think DIY plumbing would be a good idea either. You don't, yeah. want, you don't want your effluents flowing all over your bathroom or your house. No, there's always people you can bring in there. But I heard you love to get stuck into the U bend. This is true, but I've, I've, I've gone to rehab now and I've, they've, they've, they've stopped me doing things like that. In, unless you're over, in over your head, then obviously I'd. If you're in over your head... I wouldn't suggest doing things that you didn't know how to do. If you are in over your head, Obviously. turn around and go the other way. Normally a good idea. Turn around if you can, or just back out. Oh, there's got to be bloody loads of things that... Veterinary surgery, I think I would suggest as well. Don't don't perform things on your animals. Depends how much you like them. Not fully trained. I'm never fond of this cat. <laughs> oh dear. DIY. No. Of course. I think you can trust people to do cleaning, but... Uh, cleaning. Yeah, that's a DIY. What, what type thing. of type of cleaning you on about? Just your, just, just your standard s- serious household. house cleaning. Yeah. 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 You could you could technically describe that as DIY. I mean, you pay other people to do it. Yeah, I guess that's we didn't we never looked did our usual thing of looking up an actual definition of DIY, did we? No, I guess not. We just I guess that would fall under it. Use their instinct. We just did it ourselves. We did it ourselves. We didn't. We didn't. didn't we didn't look. <laughs> Well, we're off now to uh, engage in our favourite DIY project. Indeed we are. 